Hi guys! So today I'm really excited because I'm going to be showing you how I colored my hair using actual salon quality dye. Um, a lot of people don't know that there is a major difference, but there is a major difference between the dye that you would get from drugstores like Walmart, Target, CVS, all of those boxed hair dyes. Um, they do tend to have very bad chemicals for your hair. So um, I decided this time that I wanted to go with a more higher quality brand of hair dye and the main reason being that it costs like hundreds of dollars to get your hair done in a salon and I just wasn't up for buying that this time. So I decided I would test it out on my own and see how I liked it and my final results were really, really awesome. So. I will tell you guys right now that the brand that I'm going to be using is the Color Brilliance um, Ion and I did use a Demi Permanent. You want to try and use a Demi Permanent instead of a Permanent because it's actually better uh, for your hair. Permanent works really well, I mean if you have like gray hairs coming in and stuff, it covers really well. But I just went with Demi Permanent um, and it should last me quite a few washes, but I will make sure to link in the bottom bar all of the good things about Demi Permanent and I also can leave in the information that I know about the other different types of hair dye like permanent and semi-permanent and everything just in case you guys want to know. But yes, mine came in a box like this. So I guess if you guys want to learn how to dye your hair similar to a professional, then just keep watching this video. But I do want to clarify that I am not a professional hairstylist whatsoever. This is just my take and how I accomplished doing this myself. So if you're thinking about doing it at home, then just keep watching the video guys thanks bye so the first thing you're gonna want to do is obviously comb out your hair so there are no tangles my hair was curly at this state and it also was three or four day hair you want your hair as dirty as possible but not too dirty and then you want to have all of these supplies you want your dye a mixing bowl gloves all of the stuff in this picture is what you need to dye your hair so I took the mixing bowl and I just went to mix the dye and I'm using Color Brilliance from Sally Beauty Supply and I'm just going to pop this bad boy open and then squeeze out the whole entire tube into the little mixing bowl. Next you're going to want to take this uh, developer and I used a level 10 and you just want to make equal parts. Um, I ended up using the whole bottle because I have had two boxes of dye. Next I'm just taking this little little spatula thing, it's not a spatula, whatevs, and I'm stirring it up. And then I'm going to be putting on gloves because my hands would get super messy if I didn't have them. And we're going to start placing the dye on our hair. Starting at the roots. I know some people think you don't start at the roots, but my hair was just completely uneven in color, so I started at the roots. And then as you can see, I'm just parting it little by little and going all the way down the side of my head. And once I finished that side, I did the other side. So next I'm gonna clip up these two sides and start on the back portion of my hair. And I'm going to be doing the exact same thing. So I'm putting the dye on and then separating it into little sections. I feel that this makes the most even coverage with the hair dye. You want to make sure that you're getting all the sides of your hair. Some people don't do that and they just do like the middle sections and then that's how your hair color comes out uneven. I just found that this was the easiest technique for me to dye my hair. And then you're just going to want to make sure that you run it all the way to the ends of your hair. We are using a Demi 
a permanent hair color in our hair so when I touch up the roots roots I'll be using the same technique on it and then you guys get to see the final results I left the hair dye on for about 25 minutes and it made my coloring so much more even and I just feel like it's a lot better than box dye from like the drugstore I guess um, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll talk to you guys soon bye